There is absolutely no basis at all for thinking the world is flat. Nobody in human history, as far as I know, has thought the world was flat. The Greeks measured the radius of the Earth. It is in, I cannot conceive of a reason why anybody would think that the world is flat. There are interesting bits of physics that tell you that you live on a spinning planet. Um, one of them is called the Coriolis force, which is the force that's responsible for causing storm systems to rotate on the planet. So when you see those beautiful pictures of storms spinning around and rotating, the reason for that is that we live on a spinning planet. So, so putting a, you know, there's some nice physics in there, actually, if you, if you want to dig more deeply. Putting all that aside, the theoretical stuff, the, the, the very simple fact that we've taken pictures of it, Um, it, it, I, I, yeah, I, you see, I'm lost for words. It, it's, it's probably the most nonsensical suggestion that, uh, that a, a thinking human being could possibly make. It is drivel. It's a great question. Um, can we populate Mars? And, and if so, how would we do it? The answer is absolutely yes. Um, we've discovered through space missions over the last few decades that there are vast amounts of water on Mars. There are minerals on Mars, very similar to the minerals you find on Earth. So essentially Mars has everything you need to build and sustain civilization to allow settlers to colonize the planet. So there are plans now, real plans, to colonize, to get people to Mars and begin colonization. I think we're going to go there. We're going to go there within a decade or two and everything you need to survive is exists on the planet. It's a good question about whether there could be other universes um, in which time runs in a, in a different way, a different direction. Now, the first thing to say is there can be other universes. Um, in some sense it depends how you define the word universe. Theoretically there could be other sort of bubble universes like ours. where the, the laws of nature that you see in those universes are different. So that's a possibility. Now, as to time, um, Stephen Hawking once said, in, in, in A Brief History of Time actually, said that he thought that if the universe re-collapsed, then time might, the arrow of time might be reversed and time might run backwards. He then corrected it and said, no, he doesn't think that anymore. And um, the honest truth is that we don't have a very good understanding of time. So, so exactly uh, what time is, how it behaves. We have understanding in different frameworks. So Einstein says that it's a dimension, a bit like space, and talks about a thing called space-time. In quantum theory, our theory of the subatomic world, we have uh, maybe a different picture. So, so the honest answer is we don't fully understand yet uh, precisely what time is, um, and it's, it's one for the future. Great question. How big is the universe? Is it infinite or not? The answer is, we don't know. Um, what we can say is there's such a thing as the observable universe, which is how much of the universe can we see from the Earth? So think about looking into the sky, at, let's say the Andromeda galaxy, which is the nearest galaxy to the Milky Way. It's just over two million light years away. That means that light takes two million years to travel from that galaxy to our eyes, which means that we see it as it was two million years in the past. Now, the universe is 13.8 billion years old, so that means that we could only ever hope to see light from something that is um, close enough that the light has been able to get to us in 13.8 billion years. And uh, that thing, the furthest we can see, is called the cosmic microwave background radiation. So it's the glow, it's actually the afterglow of the Big Bang itself that we can see if we look far enough out into space and therefore far enough back in time. So you'd ask the question, 
how big is that bit now? So, so the universe has been stretching and stretching and expanding over all that time during which the light has been journeying across it. So if you say, where's that point now that emitted that light that's just reaching my eye now from the, from the beginning of time, from the Big Bang, it's about 40, 42 billion light years away or something like that, just over. So, so we've got a big sphere 90 something billion light years across filled with two trillion galaxies that we can see is there anything beyond that uh, we strongly suspect so but we can't see it and does that go on forever we don't know 